Everyone knows what bread is, and everyone knows what toast is. And everyone also knows that bread can be turned into toast. What's less clear is when exactly does the transformation take place? When does bread become toast? The clickbait stops here, because I'm looking out for you. Before we get into it, comment your prediction about when you think bread becomes toast. I'm waiting. Okay, let's quickly break down the science behind toasting bread, and then we'll get into when bread becomes toast. The browning process we call toasting is an example of the Maillard reaction, which, in addition to toasting, is also responsible for the deep flavors in many of our favorite foods, including browned barley and beer, roasted coffee, seared meats, and french fries. During the Maillard reaction, or during the toasting process, amino acids, which are the base components that combine together to make proteins, and sugars interact in a thermal or heat-based reaction. So we have proteins in a reaction with sugar that is all caused by heat. This reaction produces the brown color, texture, and flavor we know of as toast. What happens during the toasting process is that when the protein bases and sugars get hot, the two rearrange and produce large Frankenstein-like molecules that are made up of many repeated single protein molecules. These large molecules are called polymers. In other words, the proteins and sugars got hot, fused together, and changed form. Another way to think of this is through caramelization. And while they're not the exact same thing, the Maillard reaction is very similar. With caramelization, decompositions caused by heat that chars. So burnt bread is actually caramelized bread. Next time you accidentally burn your toast, just say you meant to caramelize it. In summary, toasting bread is a chemical reaction when heat causes baby protein particles and sugars to react and combine, changing the color, texture, and flavor into what we know of as toast. Now that we know the science behind toast, let's address the bigger question. When does toast actually become bread? The science world has a lot of different answers, and the general consensus is that there isn't one scientifically correct scale that specifies what amount of reaction differentiates bread from toast from burnt bread. And if you ask me, it's because there's no way for the average person to measure it. So if you're fighting with your friend about whose toast is actually toast, as of today, there's really no correct answer. That said, looking into the future, if we wanted to be able to have a scientific toast rating scale, here's what we'd need to do. First, we'd have to measure and evaluate all the varied configurations of amino acids, sugars, water, heat, and time. After documenting all these variables, we could create a scale similar to that of an acid base test, with an arbitrary point on the scale being set to represent bread, toast, and caramelization or burnt bread. Then all you'd have to do is analyze the configurations of the amino acids, sugars, water, heat, and time for each piece of toast, and it would fall somewhere on that arbitrary scale. I'll never say never because people are always coming up with ridiculous PhD thesis projects, but I will say it's highly unlikely that this research is done and the scale is created. So, at least for now, bread becomes toast based on each individual's preference. The truth is that the Maillard reaction and caramelization both change the color, texture, and flavor of bread, all of which are subjective preferences to each person. What's toast to you could be bread to someone else and burnt to another. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, let me know your toasting preference down in the comment section below. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Stay you, stay beautiful. I'm Timothy Bach, and until next time, keep your smile side up. Bye-bye.